Despite that big recruiting drive, Marcus Bontempelli says he's wary not to get too excited by the Bulldogs' potential next year. And the skipper also revealed how he was caught right in the middle of Josh Dunkley's attempts to leave. He spoke exclusively with Corey Norris. Marcus Bontempelli isn't due back at Witten Oval until the new year. Neither are most of these top dogs who have returned to the grind with a little sparkle in their eye. I think the group's in a really good shape to, to bounce, I think, back off the back of, you know, what was a disappointing finish for us. And it seems like the appetite here today before, you know, training's even back. Luring Collingwood star Adam Trelaw highlighted the dogs' trade period, the cherry on top of one of the club's most successful off-season recruiting drives. You've got to bottle the excitement a little bit because... There's still a lot of work to be done, uh, but in terms of returning to training, there's definitely a little bit of a little bit of excitement to get back and get together and start, you know, working towards next season. While Bont was sporting a fresh cut, a chiselled-looking Josh Dunkley has also been welcomed back with open arms, proving he's as keen as any to get back to business. We never doubted in Josh, regardless of how things unfolded. Keeping was obviously a priority for us as players and as a football club um, that he'd be straight back to work and, and committing to, to what he always has. It's relief too for the skipper, who was caught in a rather tricky situation. As obviously one of his good mates too, I was sort of trying to help support him throughout the process, but clearly the same as a football club wanted to, to keep him and, and knew that I felt like we could provide what he needed as, as a football club. They're now keen to let sleeping dogs lie. Corey Norris. Nine News.